While I was observing you, I feared that I might lose my power one day as well. Oh. Well, you are a dud like me. Yes, I began looking into the research the government did on powers to alleviate my fear. I was hoping I would discover a way to treat the loss of powers. Is that why you asked for my help? Yes. Since you already know my secret, I didn't have to lie to you. It was rather selfish for me to ask you. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you asked me to help, no matter the reason. So, did you find what you were looking for? Unfortunately, no. In fact, I found the opposite. You don't mean... Yes. It's data on eradicating psionic hormones from human brains with drugs, and completely erasing powers. <laughs> Why would they research something like that? It seems their plan was to use it as a weapon to depower enemy psionics. And now Sauron is continuing that research. If it's implemented, it'll be a huge threat to the OSF, since we use our powers as a weapon. And many more people will face discrimination as duds. We have to stop this research. Let's find that data and erase it. I need your help! Over there! That's the other we need to take care of. Good! The enemy dropped something. Here we go! This is very rare. You're so amazing. You investigated the laboratory all by yourself, and even carried out an infiltration plan. <laughs> I'm... May not look like it, but I have been on many OSF missions in my life. Now, it is too early to relax. Our mission isn't over yet. Than I am. <laughs> if so, it's thanks to you, Luca. I'm using this, Shiden. Finish it off. Some help, Luca. I need to focus. Over there. That's the other we need to take care of. Target is down. Let's go to the next one. The shell is broken. Give it everything you have. It sprayed something like oil. Don't get it on you. Keep it up. Come on. There. Keep it up. Leave it to me. Thanks, Kyle. 
Kagura! I can hit it! It's over! Don't get caught! Damage to outer shell confirmed. Keep going and break it. Finish it off. Where are you? I need your help. Now die. There. Found the weak spot. Yeah. Crush you. Here we go. Is this the lab researching the stolen data? It should be. It seems no one is here. Let's get this done. What is this? <laughs> no. What's wrong? It seems Seiron's research has already progressed further than I expected. This is a plan to disperse the drug indiscriminately and turn an entire city into duds. If they use this... They may be able to turn all humans in New Himuka into duds. What is Seiron thinking? Delete that right now. <sighs> What's the matter? Delete the data, Luca. I just had a strange thought. Have you ever wondered what the world would be like if there were no powers? What are you saying? I've thought about it all my life. <sighs> Our society is fixated on the superiority of powers. Whether you have powers or not decides your fate. But if all humans were duds, no one would ever have to worry about powers again. How much tragedy have you seen that would never have happened if there were no powers? Calm down. Do you understand what you're saying? I do. Then you know that no tragedy will be prevented by a weapon like that. People cause those tragedies, not powers. Taking them away won't solve anything. I know this has been bothering you. I get worried when I think I might lose my power too. But 
but that doesn't make it right to take them all away. You're the one that is most fixated on the superiority of powers. I apologize. That was a bad joke. Huh? That was... a joke? Uh, come on. Don't scare me like that. Don't worry. I've deleted all data related to the research, including the backups. That's a relief. Let's go back. It's dangerous to teleport with so many others around. So we should take the same route we came. Yeah, okay. Let's go. The way he was talking, even if it was a joke, he sounded kind of serious. He must have been really hurting to be tempted by it. Our mission is complete. That was good work. I'm glad nothing happened. You surprised me a little back there. I was only teasing you. Besides, I'll be honest with you. I hated you for a bit. What? It was more jealousy than hatred. I've been a research subject ever since I was young. We're both duds, but your family still loved you. I thought that you could never really understand how I felt. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I... didn't know you felt that way. You don't need to apologize. What you said before made something clear to me. We see the world differently because we've lived different lives. And because of that, I think there are things I could learn from you. You're right. I am the one that is fixated on superiority of powers. <laughs> that was in the heat of the moment. I'm embarrassed to have acted like such a child. Are you disappointed that someone like me is a Septentrion? No. I'm glad you told me how you really feel. I hope you'll feel free to be honest with me in the future. You certainly are honest to a fault. Perhaps I could learn that as well. So, should we run back to the hideout? What? It's pretty far. You're here, so why don't we teleport? Stamina is just as important as strength. Let's go. That's not what I meant when I said to feel free. I didn't really talk to Kasane about the fact that the person who raised her was my mother. Hey, Kasane. Do you have a minute? Sure. What is it? I wanted to talk to you about my mother. I thought you may want to as well. Yes. Will you come with me to Mizuhagawa? Uh, why? I thought it would be best to talk some more private. I also want to get some combat in. So you want to get some field training? Great. I'll make lunch then. We'll probably get hungry. This isn't a picnic. <sighs> Fine. Good. Then we'll leave in an hour. We don't get to do this too often, so I'll make the best lunch that I can. <sighs> Looks like we took care of most of the others around here. Let's take a break. Here's your lunch. Oh. She's not saying anything. Maybe she doesn't like some of the vegetables. Or maybe I tried too hard? I was going to make something simpler, but I got carried away. Is it too much? It's fine. It tastes fine, too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... No, wait. I guess she raised you first. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means you're like my big sister then. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Oh, I guess you're right. I hadn't thought about it that much. 
She is rather indifferent sometimes. Well, <laughs> we really don't pay attention to actual age in the OSF. I don't have memories from when Mother went away until I was adopted by the Randalls. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about ten years. Were you in cryogenic sleep or something? That's most likely the case. All I remember is losing my mother, and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu, so that's a good thing for me, at least. Right. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No. It's true that if Mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you Big Sister now? Stop it. The only Big Sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Okay, I won't say it anymore. Whew, that was quite the feast. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child again. It was really strange. Neither of us had seen her since we were young. There's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she'll stay forever. Yeah. But as much as I want her to, I know in my heart that she won't be with us that long. You're right. But we can't just spend all of our time being sad about it. Yeah. Sorry for being a downer. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I just don't want to think that not seeing her is the end of the relationship. Even if we can't be together, it doesn't mean we'll forget the people who loved us. I was just a kid. But I remember being so happy when I was with my mom. As long as we have those memories, no matter how much time passes, we're all still connected. I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over time. Yes. Though it sounds rather trite when you put it into words. <laughs> really? I don't think it does. I will say the ability to time travel has really messed with us. But I am very thankful that it allowed me to see my mom again. Yes. I have more good memories now. Promise not to laugh, but when I actually saw her again and heard her voice, I felt a lump in my throat and almost started to cry. I actually did cry a little, though. Why would I laugh at you for that? I felt the same way. I guess we've gotten a little too comfortable here. This is perfect. Let's get a workout in before we head back. Okay. Let's take care of this together. Stay on guard. It might not be just them. Connect with SAS and don't forget your surroundings. She said it doesn't suit her, but she is like a big sister sometimes. What? You look like you want to say something. Oh, it's nothing. Let's go. Oh, Yuito. I wanted to talk to you. Sure. What is it? I just wanted to thank you. It's strange, but whenever I talk to you, I feel relieved. It's kind of like you're to me what Baki is to you. I wonder if I understand your feelings better. Communicating with someone is difficult. Yeah. It's not like I'm good at it either, but I get what you're saying. Hey, Kagro. If you, uh, have some time, what do you say we go get coffee? Oh. Well, I've never been asked by a guy before, and it's Yuito of all people. <laughs> yeah.
Is it that unexpected? Of course it is. After all, I am the one who killed your father. I've said a lot of things to you and dragged you around, but I thought you'd still have something against me. I still have mixed feelings about you, and... You're right. I can't just forgive what you did. Yeah, I figured. But that's why I want to know who you are, and what you're thinking. And it was a nice break going to town with you. Huh. If that's how it is, how about we do something less boring than just coffee? Less boring? Hey, where are you taking me? I could tell you now, but that would spoil the surprise. You said something less boring, but this place is pretty deserted. <laughs> you probably shouldn't believe everything someone like me says. I was lying. Okay. Why did you bring me here? Well, you did say you wanted to understand me. I chose this place because I don't think anyone will bother us here. Don't hesitate to ask me whatever you want. You have the right to do so. Well... I do have something I've been wanting to ask you. You said you wanted to stop Togetsu for your family, right? Yeah. Everything I've worked for up till now was to stop Togetsu's plans. To protect the existence of my family. Of my daughter. For 2,000 years, that's all I lived for. Well, I told you most of that already. Yeah, I understood that. And I don't doubt it at all. But there is still something I just don't understand. What's that? You already stopped Togetsu. You finally reached your goal. So what's wrong? Why do you still look so unsatisfied? Oh? <laughs> That's pretty sharp. You know, you're something, kid. Very innocent. Maybe too innocent. What? You're not still hiding something, are you? Well... Everything I've told you up till now was definitely true. But if there is something, I guess it's that I'm burned out. You're burned out? <laughs> what do you mean? It's been 2,000 years. My family, the world I know, they're all far in the past. I have nothing now. I don't feel anything. I'm totally empty inside. I achieved the only goal I had. Now I'm just remaining in this world with no real meaning. Kind of like a ghost. I know what it feels like to lose your family. I lost mine too. But how can you talk like that? You're the one who murdered my father. You're telling me that the person who killed my family is a burned out coward? I'm sorry if it makes you mad, but that's how I feel. You're the one who wanted to know. So, do you want to kill me now? No, I don't. Thank you for being honest with me. I'll talk to you anytime. You beat the crap out of me in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Okay then, that's enough serious talk. Time to head out to town. Wait, what? That was a quick turnaround. I can't believe you want to go out now. I told you I'd take you somewhere less boring, didn't I? You need to pay attention. Um, you just told me not to believe what someone like you says. All right, today I'll show you how real men have fun in Suo. This is gonna be fantastic. He said fun was escaping reality, but I think he might be enjoying himself just a little too much. You want me to say some magic words to give you happy vibes? Hi there, I'm Baki. You're not grasping his character at all. Baki isn't like that. Try again. What? You get really obnoxious when it comes to Baki. But I guess your overly picky criticism means you're doing all right. Just remember that moderation is the key to life. me a trusted partner. It's hard to tell if you're serious or not. I do count on you though.
Yuito, do you have a minute? There's something I have to tell you. What's the matter? Let's go to Misubi's. I'll tell you everything there. About things I've been hiding from you. What was it that you were hiding from me? I couldn't tell you before, because I was scared of what you'd think of me. A long time ago, Togetsu ordered me to monitor your mother, Wakana Sumeragi. My mom? Yes. Right after she escaped from Togetsu, they sent me into Suo. I spied on her and reported everything to them. Her movements, her life, and her family. I see. That's why you knew about my childhood. I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. No, I'm glad you told me. I'm surprised, but I'm sure you didn't have a choice. Thank you. I don't know if this can make up for it, but I'll answer anything you want to know. Hmm, let's see. Okay. I'm a little embarrassed to ask this. What is it? Could you tell me more about my mom? We didn't have time to really sit down and have a conversation when she came back. Yes, of course. Where should I start? From that romantic day your parents met? No, you don't need to go that far. How about from the time I was born? Let's see. You had to be kept in the hospital for a while, but you were such a cute baby. Your mother was always by your side, watching over you. While you and your brother grew, I think your mother always sensed Togetsu in the shadows. Still, she continued basking you in love, never showing any sign of fear or worry. She was an incredible person. Do you think you were watching over us like my mom did? Huh? Just... the way you were talking about it made it sound like you kept a watchful eye on us. I'm sorry if I was wrong. Hmm... you're right. I may have gotten a little attached. I mean, I've been watching your family for years. I still wish Wakana could have lived like that forever. <sighs> However, I couldn't even imagine going against Togetsu at the time. All I could do was watch. You don't need to feel responsible for that. You're not like that anymore. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can forgive myself a little. Thank you. Well, thank you for telling me stories about my mom. Can I hear more sometime? Yes, anytime you'd like. I have lots I want to share as well. Like the first time you walked, or when your diaper... Hey, we don't need to go over anything like that. Do you have tons of embarrassing stories about me or something? Just the person I wanted to see. Your lucky color for the day is red, and your lucky direction is south. Um, thanks for that. So, what should I do specifically? Eat red food and deploy south, probably. Should I make something for you? Oh, um, no thanks. I appreciate the thought. You can talk to me about anything. Romantic issues? Or dreams you had last night? Okay. I don't have anything right now, but you can come talk to me anytime you want to.